I'm Dan John. This is my friend Mike Warren Brown. And one of the things that comes up a lot in the weight room, it's a funny word because it's almost now a cliche, but the word core. What you normally see people, their core is their neck and their lower back. And our job both in the out there in the throws and, and athletics and here in the gym is to teach the core is all this stuff here in the middle. Easiest way I know to, to discover this is called, well, we're just going to show the first part, the rolling 45, the Turkish getup. So Mike, would you, Mike is going to do it wrong, okay? Go ahead. Now, the very first thing he did is as he started to come back, his first movement was to throw his head or chin forward. You'll notice that this leg collapsed here too. So roll back. An easy way to teach this is to first really feed the problem. Feed the problem. So I'm going to put my leg here. He's going to squeeze into my leg as hard as he can. Now, even, come on, don't quit. No, do it right. Come on, don't stop. Even, try this at home, folks. If you squeeze this knee in, you absolutely forget what your core is. So just one more time. It's so funny. Come on, pull against it. Come on, do it seriously. <laughs> so that's kind of fun to do it to somebody too. Now we're going to fix the problem. So what he's going to do now is he's going to push his knee out, which posts the whole shank and that whole heel into the ground. Quick point, I think it's important. In here in the weight room, always keep your heels. We've got to be heel dominant here. Keep your weight on the heels. The barbell will pull you forward. Trust me, it will pull you forward. So if your weight's on your heels, it'll pull you forward flat-footed. Out there in the field, you want to be on your toes. So Mike, squeeze out hard, and you'll notice that when you do this, you'll feel the same thing. All of a sudden, his body became one piece. As a thrower, when I'm in the throw here, I, want to, I don't want to throw with the discus like this. I want to squeeze my whole body and drive it forward. One small trick we've been trying lately, Mike, is to teach the squat and the hinge and everything. We'll just put that foot against the wall like that. Might be your hands. Is that there's two parts to this. One, just drop down, pushing that uh, knee against the wall and stand back up. Go ahead. For someone new, we of course do that on both sides. Thanks, Mike. Is so the idea is that weight is on the heels and my feet are spreading the ground. And that's a little drill to teach that. If you have a squat rack that's in a good place for you, where you can shove your shoes against it and push both at the both, you know, both this wall and this wall at the same time, you'll really get a sense of things. Remember, in the squat, my body is sinking between my legs. I'm not on top of my legs, my body is between my legs. So that's just a little trick we do to teach that. So there's two tricks today. One is the little thing we use on the rolling 45. And the other is just that little thing there against the wall. Are they perfect? No. But if you're having problems in the weight room, understand the concept of how the lower body moves. Try those two. Thanks. I'm Dan John.